The mic. quarter inch? Nah. It didn't hold the mic. Oh. Uh, <laughs> is this not one that comes in here? That's just a stand? Way to go, Kingpin. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, can we just hold the mic? That's why we got a chance when you went in the accident. <laughs> <laughs> they really did this song. That's crazy. I'm trying to get Juju Bell's birthday cake. He's in the room. That's a birthday cake is in and he needs to get out. Give me the invite. Where you Juju. I'm asking. Take this bag. Hold this bag. Juju. Yo. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Mm -hmm. I have a question slash favor. What's good? Cake is here, but mm -hmm. I need your dad to get out of that room right there because I have to get the cake from out of there and put it in the fridge. Oh, okay. Can you like distract him or be like, Dad, can you come here for a second? I don't know. <laughs> Damn, bro. It's literally right there in that room on the chair. I try to hide it underneath the couch, but he keeps walking in and out. I'm like, Bro. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, it's where is it? Is that the front door? No, it's literally inside of this room. Look, you'll see it. It's right there on the chair in front of the pillow. Okay. You need to get into the fridge. Yes. So where is he? He keeps, he's in between the kitchen and like this middle area right here. He's walking back and forth? Yes. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> If Cake's gonna hurry up, he ain't me about to say happy birthday, then he ain't even got no money in here. It's like you just can't show the, the name. So we can happy oh, birthday oh, to you. Oh, happy birthday oh, to you. Oh, happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to are you one? Are you 50? Yo. Yeah, we're going to be coming to my boy. Just let him know my boy. Yeah, gotta get you, B. Yeah. 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 like 7 a.m. Today is video shoot day with myself, Joel Santana, and Rick Ross for this song that we just did and I'm so excited. I prayed. I just thank God because this was like such a dope thing. Like super, super dope. Like super dope. So I'm about to start getting myself together. Um, Joel's told me that my call time is like 9 a.m. So I'm about to get my life right i wanted to have enough time to do everything so i was like let me wake up like two hours early so i don't feel like i'm rushing and god forbid if they want to like start early i'll be early if they start late i'll be early <laughs> so let me just show you i think you can see like the view from my room one second First of all, it's crazy that my door was open that whole time. 
like last night and I had no idea. This is my view, bro. be a good day it's probably a great day actually let me turn on my computer get the vibes right come on yeah so i'll see y'all in a view let me start getting myself together um why is my thing not charging let me make sure my camera is charged too y'all i'll be back Hey y'all, so I'm about to get, well, I'm like ready, finishing up my makeup and a few. I am wearing my Kiss Drunk in Love lashes. I'm about to put those boots on. It's gonna be a good day. I'm so happy I woke up early. I, I think it was okay. I woke up early. I made myself breakfast. I made myself a matcha. I did my hair. I'm not gonna lie, y'all freaked out. My makeup, like I said, I always got that. That's on lock. But my hair freaked out today. So I had to throw, thank God, my girl Michaela, she gave me um, this thing to put on it because the wrap started unraveling. I was like, what are we doing? Not today. Not today. And this is the thing, like being an artist, I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Like, it gets tough sometimes because you really do have to invest into yourself before you have an investor, before you have a label, all that stuff. So it's like, honestly, I was going to fly out my, my homegirl to do my hair out here because she just gets it. But the tickets were so expensive and I just, I couldn't do it. And I was just like, damn, well, God, help me finesse it. Help me figure out my hair myself. And I don't think it looks bad, but, you know, it always just feels better when somebody else that it's their their profession like they do it but it's okay god gonna be with me today his face gonna be be and the video is gonna be great i felt so good i love actually waking up early and like just preparing because i hate rushing y'all that's like such a thing for me i hate rushing hate it hate it hate it i like for people to be like you i'd rather be waiting a little bit than to be late or people be like, all right, we gotta do this now. I'm like, mm, oh, I'm not ready. Always wanna be ready. Even if you gotta wake up hours earlier. Like I woke up probably two, two and a half hours before everybody. And I like it. Cause I literally can, I think that's what it is too. Once you have your habits, your good habits in motion, you gotta keep them no matter where you go. Like. I know that I like to wake up early because I like to have breakfast. So I want to make me a little tea or a little coffee. Like, I like that. So, I'm proud of myself. But, you know, I have to go to the bathroom. I gotta pee really, really badly. So, I just want to update y'all real quick about what was going on. And just in case things like that happen, okay. But I did learn this trick. Okay, so maybe this is this is the teaching point, whatever. So if that ever happens to y'all, do not go in directly and rub it out and try to like get it off. Wait for it to dry and take a spoolie, something like this, and brush it off. It'll flick right off, like it'll come right off like flakes. That's crazy. Did that just happen? <laughs> But it's okay. See, if I was rushing and if I was late, if I was rushing, <laughs> if I was late, that would have aggravated me. But since I'm not, I'm chilling. I'm back. I'm about to put these lashes on and scrape that thing off. Oh, can I believe that happened? Look. Oh, stupid. So let's get these lashes on. You know what, too, is really cool about this trip? Like, Joelle's and our family, we're really like family. I've known Joelle since I was like a child. Like, 
honestly let that dry a little bit really since I was probably like 12 or 13 but it's dope too because as an artist who's been in the game longer than I have he is still investing in himself and putting in work and paying for all these videos out of pocket so it's it's inspiring to see what it's really like. The lesson in all of it is if you believe in yourself, you won't mind investing in yourself because you know you won't get that back. It's an investment. It's not like you're just dishing out money and it's, it's not going to come back. That shows how much confidence you have, how many risks you're willing to take with yourself, honestly. And this is these are good risks, <laughs> like risks that involve you having a return in your investment. Super super good. I feel like a princess. The whole trip, they had me in like such a nice like room. I always had my own space. Everything was taken care of. It's just family. It was good. And my little brother's here too. We <laughs> haven't done a trip like this in so long. So it feels really good that we can like experience things like this together. And it's so cute. My mom is like, oh, y'all having a good time? Y'all having fun? Y'all good? And it's like, yeah, girl. But she also like, all right, when y'all coming home? Because low-key, after, um, after the video, I think we're supposed to be going out tonight. Because either Rick or Joelle's has a, what is it called? An appearance tonight. So, of course, we're going to pop out. We in Miami. That's the pop out. But I got a flight. I gotta be at the airport at like 4 a.m. because I gotta go home to my brother's baby shower. I already was threatened multiple times, like, girl, you cutting it close, make sure you're there. So I'm like, okay, I have to be there. So I'm not playing around with that. So it's like, I can't even get crazy. And I'm so proud of myself, too. I feel like when you focus, when you locked in, when you care about yourself, you will detach from things that. You feel like are holding you back and honestly y'all i was a smoker i was blowing it down like not cigarettes <laughs> the other thing but i mm -hmm. yes kiss lashes Y'all see the difference between this and that? Crazy. You know what else is crazy too? I'm so happy because yeah, I know your you girl be like doing her little side hustles and stuff because I do makeup on the side. Um, and I have gotten a pair of lashes from somebody. And before I try anything on like a client, I will always put it on myself first. Tell me why I have a whole allergic reaction to the lash. I was tight, but I was also like, damn, thank God it was me. Thank the Lord. Y'all, I got a question for y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments because I need I need some advice. Or just what what y'all feel on this. So usually I'm a very expressive person. If I love you and if I care to have you really in my life, I feel like I will easily say things that a person has done that has affected me, whether it be good or bad. And I also feel like if I don't care about you that much or if I'm just like over it and I just compartmentalize you in my brain, I don't care to bring something up. But do y'all feel like you have to get every single thing off your chest? Or do you feel like sometimes you could really just walk away from situations and just take them for what they are? Like, some sometimes it's, it's like a double thing. Because I'll be wanting to express myself and tell people about themselves sometimes. Because I just feel like give people a chance to change. Like, or 
he may say something to somebody that nobody else has ever told him before. So they may need it. But I also have this thing where it's like, I don't be caring enough to have certain conversations with people just because my energy is everything. And I feel like if something won't drain me, I'd rather just be like, I'm stepping back from this situation, like all the way. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that. Is it always worth talking about it and trying to like do something differently about it? Or like, is it cool to just step back from something? Cause I'm just on some, and I think too, it's just my time. I'm so focused on my time and who my energy and my, my life is going to and stuff like that. There's just certain things I'm like, you either a good person or you're not. You either have good intention or you don't. And if I feel like your intention was bad, there's nothing for us to talk about. Maybe I just answered my own question. <laughs> Still want to know your thoughts, though. My face is clean. All right, y'all. I'll be back. And Loki, I gotta dump some of this footage because I still want to be able to shoot for the rest of the day for the vlog. So I'll see y'all in a few. Bye. Hey, y'all. All right. So I'm about to go get my camera, guys. Then we about to get started. I got to call it in ten minutes. I'm like, okay. So let's get it. Shemaya. Yo, what's happening? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you too. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. Else, hold on, Skit. Joelle, let me just introduce you to my camera, guys. Skit. Thank you again. I appreciate it. We about to get this started. We about to get this started. Okay. Oh, you're so lit. You got my camera guy, Skip, right there. Say hi, Skip. It's for the vlog. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Skip came through in a clutch, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Book my boy, okay? Located in Miami, but he do travel. As long as that budget right. All right, so look my guy. Yeah. It's gonna be so far, y'all. I cannot wait for y'all to see what he got coming. It's gonna be so dope. Stay tuned. Hey, y'all. Um, so we just did my first scene. My first scene was like, it was lit. I went first. It was dope. I think Rick Ross just got here too. Um, I just touched up my makeup and did a little something different because I think we're gonna do a shot soon of um i think all of us together oh my god that? um soon so i just want to change up my face make sure it was like a little different pop you feel me so i'm so excited it's really happening guys i'm like i'm very very happy because low-key i don't be talking about things until they happen just because i'm like just gotta make sure it's happening you feel me but it is so yeah the next outfit, I think I'm going to do this Pierre Moss suit. Low-key, I think it's a guy suit, but I love men's clothing. So, I'm actually very excited to put it on. It looks so dope on me. But, yeah, we're just chilling for now. I just did my makeup. Added a cool little doll eye effect. Feel me? Then I'm going to throw a chain on. This damn synthetic hair. Oh. I put it on synthetic hair too because I know that I was not having this ponytail for long. This ponytail was literally only for this video. Then it is getting taken out because my scalp hurts so bad. And it's just because my scalp is sensitive, like super. My scalp has had enough of ponytails for a while. So I think actually when I get back home, the day after my brother's baby shower, I'm going to put some braids in my hair. I need that. So stay tuned, y'all. I think we're going to go upstairs. Let's go see what everybody else is doing. Hey, hey, boogie. What up, what up, what up? Oh, God. Taking that part out. <laughs> dance, like a mattress. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Yo. Yo. Can you, um... You can do the, you can do the uh, post mix. Yeah, you what you need? The, uh, 
entire bunch of like juices. Okay, let me get my phone. Hold on. Oh no, that looks fire. I'm gonna let, let, let him get away with this. Yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna let him get away with this. Hey, y'all. Say hey. Yo. Say hey to my vlogs as well. Say hey. Hey. We'll meet you in this video right now. You know what I mean? Okay. With emotion, heavy motion. Got me a feature on the track, me and Ross, got me an interior, you know what I'm saying? That part, coming soon. We're coming, we're coming, we 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 coming, we
I really love it. I'm really starting to like really enjoy vlogging a lot more. Uh, why my vlog just stopped? That was crazy. It was definitely being a hater, but it's okay. I was saying that I enjoy vlogging a lot more now because I'm being consistent with it. I got my camera, I got everything set up and just ready to go. So I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. We out of here, Miami. We came, we saw, and now we're leaving. <laughs> this is the first time I came to Miami and did not want to leave Miami. First time. First time, first time. But it's cool. We out of here. So this is the very last piece of the vlog, the Miami vlog. We had a ball. It was great. But it's time to go home. It's like. Huh? I mean, we're at the airport. Uh, but yeah, that was a great trip. Heading back to Jersey so we can go to my brother's baby shower. And then I'm either going end up out of the country or going back to LA. Still trying to figure that out. But love you guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I love y'all. Later.